my favorite little song. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's the first African-American resident to graduate from the University of Texas Emergency Medicine Program. Also a mix master DJ. She's meshing her passions in a new book, Medicine and Music, The True Medical Mysteries of Five Dope Music Legends. Please welcome Dr. Quanz Pickney. Hey, hey, hey Dr. Hey, Pickney. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, girl, I'm hey. awesome. How are you guys? We are great. I'm so happy to be here. I am so fascinated by you. Okay. Yes. Music and medicine. Mm -hmm. How in the world have you merged the two? And how, I mean, what, which one came first? Yes. Oh, ooh, that's Every like asking me to right? cheat on my passion. Yeah. Come on. I'm asking you to cheat there, but <laughs> step out on it. Right, so I'm going to say music pretty much carried me through, mm -hmm. right? You're spending all these years to accomplish a goal mm -hmm. of being a doctor. And music was the soundtrack of my life, basically. Oh, wow. I mean, if I could have a theme song, you know. That's what I would say. Music has carried me through. So music first, and it blended wow. into my into wow. my into my uh, medical career. Mm. So what would be your song, your theme song? I'm gonna go with the Shaft theme song. That's what I come what? in. You know, like that. Strut to it, you know, <laughs> I just want to come in strut and the work. Right. <laughs> so when did you know medicine was the path that you really wanted to take? So I was really blessed, and I think it's really important to talk about mentorship. Uh, as a professional women uh, in different career paths. I was mentored by a physician in mm -hmm. Dallas, and that's really where I got the opportunity to see really what medicine was about in real world, in real time, with real people and real patients. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I fell in love with medicine. Nice. Now, are there challenges being a black woman in the medical industry, actually, um, uh, in, in school, mm -hmm. first of all, and then if, if there are challenges, do they bleed onto when you actually become a doctor? And what are those challenges? Right, sure. So it's like any other career path. So first of all, in medical school, there's not a lot of us that look like me. Right. I'm young. Uh, Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. thank you. Come on now. Oh, Hello. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. So it's very important to acknowledge the struggles and also to bring in other women, other African-American men into medicine because there's just not a lot of us there. Right. And I would say the biggest struggle would be <clears throat> the same challenges everybody else run runs into. People not respecting you, having to assert yourself as a woman and a leader in a male-driven driven industry for the, whole, for the most part. And so I would say that was the toughest challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have a new book coming out called yes. Music and Medicine, Volume yes. 1. So I'm assuming there's more. Yes. Um, overall, what's the overall takeaway for the reader? First of all, y'all, this book is lit. It's fun. It's like, Come on, it's lit. It's <laughs> It is. It's fun. I'm so excited about the book. And I think what it highlights primarily is that we're all the same. And that's the one thing I wanted to comment on is a lot of clients that I work with, whether it's athletes, entertainers, patients in the ER, everyone has the same health challenges and struggles. And it's important to highlight these stories to mm -hmm. say, hey, if you don't take care of your health, your health will take care of you no matter oh, no. where you are right. in mm -hmm. your life and no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. And so that was the really overall theme in the book. And then really just encourage people, go to your doctor's appointments, learn more about your disease processes, find out. If you're not getting the right information, find you another doctor who will educate you mm -hmm. and, and really be a champion for your own health. I love that. You know, that. I have a question. So with in, in hip, in, just basically in hip hop, mm -hmm. um, uh, um, fat pun, you know what I'm saying, obesity mm -hmm. being an, an issue in, in the hip hop, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Do you feel like the entertainment industry, the music industry is suffering more from illnesses? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, because of the time, I guess, and the anxiety and stress right. they deal with. And congratulations to you also on your uh, fitness initiatives oh, yes, that you've been yes. doing. She so congrats. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, but I also say this as a, as a task to the medical community. People, we make assumptions. And not, uh, people need to be educated about their disease processes, their lifestyles, uh, what what they're being exposed to, nobody is immune. And so, yes, it is very prevalent in, in the hip-hop culture because a lot of excess is driven into that industry mm -hmm. and is fueled into that industry. And so as healthcare providers, it's so important that we educate our clients no matter who they are and don't assume that people know and really provide the, the right tools and information for people to succeed. Mm -hmm. Real quickly, tell us a story that you highlighted in the book that stuck with you. Oh, gosh. Probably one of my favorite ones is, is the story about DJ Screw. I live in Houston right now. H-Town. H-Town. Yeah. Hey, in the tray. We were chopping it up earlier. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the story about DJ Screw, and I love DJ Screw. 
<clears throat> and the point that I was highlighting was the topic of lean because it's so pervasive in hip hop culture. Lean, and, lean, mm -hmm. lean, <clears throat> which is a it's a it's a substance it's a it's a drug, you guys. Right. Okay. Let me not sugarcoat that. <laughs> Even though it's a sugary drink. Right. Let me it's not sugarcoat drug. that. It, it is a it's a drug that's killing people, and it it took the life of DJ Screw. <clears throat> an amazing producer and artist who revolutionized a lot of Southern hip hop and music. Mm -hmm. And it's a really cool story, really fascinating. I encourage you to check it out and learn more about the amazing DJ Screw and also about Lean um, and the, the, the medical effects that it had mm -hmm. on him and, wow. and his life. Well, Doctor, we thank you so much. Doctor, thank we you, thank doctor. you so much for coming here to Sister Circle. Um, you can pick up her book, um, Music and Medicine, Volume 1, on Amazon.com.